Hey everyone! So I wanted to come on and show you a setup in my A6 Oxyfix Rowena Traveler's Notebook. And I'm doing something new. I'm kind of going to be introducing my videos from this point forward face to face because I noticed that I tend to talk a lot and people who stumble upon my videos, they just complain that I talk too much and don't get into the journal or the notebook or the planner or whatever it is that I'm showing. Yeah. And so I figured I can talk, but you can see my face, so it might be a little bit different. But I'll try not to talk too much. But yeah, so this is going to be a flip-through of my setup in my traveler's notebook. And this is the notebook. It is an A6. It's the Rowena leather from Foxy Fix. And it's just, you know, it has, I think it's a compact, so it has like four, four elastics in it. So that's this. But I kind of wanted to explain a little bit uh, why I set this up again, because I have multiple setups of an A6 TN. And yeah, just why I set it up and what I'm going to use it for. So I know in one of my videos where I showed you the planners and journals that I'm going to use for this year, I only showed two. I showed my Filofax Domino Soft and I showed this notebook. This is a fabric journal that I made and it is my unraveling journal. And so I only showed those two because I was planning just to use those two notebooks planners for the year. But I realized that working in this unraveling journal, um, I'm going through Susanna Conway's class called Unraveling, and a lot of the stuff that I'm writing in here is a little bit personal, like it's a little too personal to share. And so I think the two processes that I've shared working in this so far on my channel have been like, you know, like my one little word planning and stuff like that. And then there was one, the last one, where I didn't even film the process of me journaling on one of the pages. I just kind of made a little pocket. I didn't even film that either. I made a little pocket to tuck the journaling in there so no one can see it. And that was just because that writing was a little too personal to show. So I may not do as many processes in this. And the ones that I do, of course, I won't journal in the video. I would do that after the fact and then show you photos. Probably the journaling blurred out. So that being said, I felt like I couldn't really do journal with me because I didn't want to share, like, you know, the personal stuff in this. And so I debated, I looked through a bunch of my journals and I debated, like, maybe picking up the Hobonichi that I abandoned before or continuing in my Stalgy notebook, which is the B6. I eventually settled on the fact that I really liked the A6 size only because it's smaller. It's less room and I can do a page or two really quickly and hopefully finish the journal. I, that never happens. That didn't happen with my Hobonichi. And I only think because the Hobonichi's pages are so thin and there's like enough pages for the entire year that I just couldn't fill it. So I did go ahead and buy a Midori MD notebook in the A6 size and I've set up this TN to be like an everyday carry, everyday journal where I'm going to, I don't know, I'm, I'm, like I've already like started a few pages in it and it's kind of turning out like how I kept my bullet journal, like that bullet artsy journal. So it's kind of going to be like that. It's not going to have like a calendar calendar in it because I'm not going to use it for planning, but it's going to be just kind of like an everyday carry, everyday journal where I go in, do sketches, write, uh, journal do some art journaling pages. And so this is the one hopefully that I will be filming process videos of when I do like journal with me's and stuff like that. will be in this journal because this one's just, you know, playing and like jotting down quotes and stuff like that. And so the MD notebook is for the art journaling part. And then I have a Muji notebook in here as well that I'll show you. It's everything's empty because I just set it up, but um, where I'm going to like have like notes and stuff like that. I tend to write a lot of lists and I do that in my planner because usually it's stuff that I need to get done. But like when I'm out on the go and I have like an idea or whatever like that, this, that's the little notebook that I'm going to put it in. Oh, I've set this up to be my everyday carry because I'm going to, when I go out, this is the book that I'm going to take with me. Usually or as of late, I've been taking my planner, but I noticed that I don't really plan when I'm out. It's just, 
I'm no, it's, I just put it in there in case I have something to jot down or whatever. But I don't really plan anything, you know. So, um, and it's a little bigger. It's a personal size. And I like the A6 size. It's like small enough but big enough that I have room and space and stuff like that. So I kind of set this up very cutesy. Just, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know if any of it will be useful on the go, but I've set it up that way. And it's a little bit chunky than I usually have a TN, but I just wanted to come on and give you a little backstory about why I set this up, how I'm going to use it, and now we're going to get into the actual notebook where I'll probably repeat myself multiple times because that is just how I roll. So yeah, so A6, TN setup, Oxyfix, Rowena, let's get into it. So this is my TN and this is just how I have it set it up. I went ahead and changed out the elastic, so I got this at a in a mystery sale and I changed the white elastics. The inside is like this kind of like a mauve color and then the outside I put a like a sort of like a lighter brown but it was so thin and wearing out that I switched it up for this dark brown um, and I, I think this is like two millimeter elastic and I also changed out my little plate that I had here. I had this like if you remember I had this little butterfly charm on here so I changed that out and I put this, this is just like an antique silver. Again, it also has that pretty butterfly and I believe I got this at Hobby Lobby. And then I made a brand new bookmark. So let's just open up. I'll show you the bookmark if I can find where it is. So I basically used the bookmark that I already had and I just kind of changed it out. So this piece has this gemstone here and I used I used similar beads to what I had but the other one the other um, bookmark if you remember had like more it was a bit it was a bit warmer less cool it had more orange in it but this one's really simple I did change out the Tim Holtz charm here the one that I had before was this one and it said in every walk with nature one receives far more than they seek. So I switched that one out for this one that says she dreams of faraway places and daring adventures. I love these. I love these charms from Tim Holtz. Oh my god, I love all the sayings that all of them have. So I put that one here and I put this bird. It's like a brass bird charm. And I'm not afraid to mix my metals. So it's like an antique silver and then that's brass and then another green gemstone and then of course is silver here too so how I have this wrapped I actually don't really know I think I just have it like wrapped here I'm not sure if oh wait I think this was holding this place here and then this was just at the end so my setup is super super simple again I wanted to use this notebook for like a more daily kind of art journal not so much daily because of course I don't do it daily but I wanted to have a place where I can do art and actually share it so this is the Midori MD notebook the, this is the cotton one so the pages are cotton and it's just this really thick cardstock cover and I actually really like it white. I love it white. I wasn't sure if I wanted to decorate it and I probably will end up decorating it. I just don't know how at the moment. So that's what I have here as my first book and I've already like begun doing some art journaling in it and I have this little charm that I made just kind of hanging off of this. It's kind of joining I guess the title page with the first page because I always skip the first page of a journal. I think it's just how it lays. I just kind of skip it. So I have this little Tim Holtz paper clip and on it I put this little charm that I made. It has a sparrow on it. And you notice that the paper clip is like a brass color but the charm is like this antique silver. So that's this one here. I have this paper clip is just holding my spot like where I'm up to in my book. So that is the first insert that I have here and then over here I have I made this little folder so I made this little it's like a it's a paper folder I made it out of some it's okay I'm trying to figure out how I made it it's out of some just regular cream cardstock that you get at Michaels and what I did was I just kind of covered the cover 
with this paper that was from a Daphne's Diary magazine. And then I kind of collaged this also from Daphne's Diary and some washi. And then on the inside, I covered the inside of the craft with some book pages. So this is from a secret garden book that I have. And then I stitched on the pockets and these pockets are made from some Maggie Holmes bloom paper. So I just kind of ran through my sewing machine and stitched it up on the side. And it just holds stickers and some journaling cards. So I have a lot of stickers. Like I recently went through all of my stickers and I just kind of have so many stickers. I have a lot of Planner Society stickers too. And I don't get the Planner Society kits anymore. And I'm just hoarding all these beautiful stickers. So this is kind of like the feel that I want my journaling to be very bright and colorful and of course a little shabby chic. And so I kind of put my favorite stickers in here. Hopefully I'll use them. And then these, this is some girls that I had left over from Planner Society Kit. And then these are the little samplers that I put in order. So just a bunch of my stickers in here. And then in this pocket, I have an assortment of pieces from other things. And then I have a lot of journaling cards um, here in case I want to do tip-ins and stuff like that. I have another little charm here against the same, except this one has a pink bead and it's a dragonfly. And then I have my first little kind of elastic pen holder clip thing that you can make really easily. And that's just holding a pencil. And so that is that little pocket folder insert there. And then this book is one of my books from the last setup of this. And it had like a completely different cover. It's one of those black Muji books, the A6, and this one's like the grid. And I covered up the black cover with some cardstock. And the cardstock didn't really feel with how I wanted to set this up. So I basically ripped off that layer and I had to rip off like a, the, the, the top layer of the cardstock notebook. So like even the spine, like all the stitching was exposed and everything. So what I did was I just glued a piece of canvas on like over the whole thing. So if we go to the back here, it's just all canvas and I prefer that better. I tend to cover a lot of my notebooks with fabric. That's why I don't really know what I want to do here. I kind of want to cover it with fabric, but I also really like the white cover. So for right now, it is going to just stay white until I, I guess find the perfect fabric to cover it with. But this one, I just kind of, I needed a thicker fabric because the black kind of showed through all the linens that I had. So canvas it was and you can still see a little shadow of the black but it's not too harsh and so what I did was I just kind of took some fabric scraps and just really badly just kind of collaged them on the top and then this is some washi and it just says hello beautiful and that's what I have here I have another fun bookmark uh, paper clip here and it just kind of like holds the beginning of this on the inside I also had to rip out the paper that I had lined the inside originally with so I just took my six by six Maggie Holmes balloon paper pad and I just covered the inside this one has these beautiful cute little birds and this one over here has the deer on the denim pattern and it's just this is just a grid notebook and this I kind of I'm planning to keep this book in my bag. So it's going to be that journal that I kind of take with me everywhere. And so I kind of wanted a spot for like jotting notes and stuff. And so I thought one of these Muji notebooks would work well for that. So that's what I have in here and nothing is filled up yet. And then I have another one of those bookmark clips and these I had made a long time ago for various different TN setups. This one was actually from the Planner Society kit. And so has this beautiful kind of like floral pattern on it and on this one I have a pen here this is a fountain pen uh, I know nothing about fountain pens I wanted to buy a couple of them but a lot of they're just really expensive so I got this pen from AliExpress and it is a Picasso brand um, I don't know exactly the number of it but I did their videos on this pen too on YouTube because I actually put like Picasso or whatever the number it was. And I got some reviews saying that it was a really good fountain pen for like one of the cheap Chinese pens. I paid $9 for it. So I have that here and yeah, it has a great ink in it. I will say that this is when I bought it, um, the listing said it was a 0 0.5 millimeter, right? 0 0.05 or whatever the 0.5. Yeah, it's 0.5. It's 0.5 uh, nib. 
script. I don't know if that's like a fine nib. I have no idea. Um, I like how it writes. It writes really well once I get used to how I need to hold the pen because it's like very different. So that's what I have here. Hopefully, like that's the pen that I'm hoping to use in my notebook. And so far, have I used it? I have used it to draw on things and this paper takes it really well. Like it takes the ink really well. So that's what I have attached here. And then back here, I have a plastic pocket and I wanna go through this pocket. So this pocket, so this is of A6 size and I know, I don't know any place that makes these, um, these little plastic pocket inserts for an A6. I know normally it's like um, uh, passport size, right? I think it's passport feed note size and like the standard size. I really don't know any place that makes it for A6. What I did was I had this one. This is one of the Webster's Pages plastic pockets. And so it's like a standard, it's the standard size for the Webster's Pages. I bought this off of Blitzy a long time ago, but this one actually came a little damaged. The top part here, this closure wouldn't go all the way up because it was like warped. So they gave me a replacement. So that's the one that I have in like my standard notebooks. But I had this one and I kind of kept it because I'm just like, oh, might as well keep it. So how the Webster's Pages one comes, it has this like kind of slit pocket. Well, you know, it's kind of closed on the top, but this pocket here and then it has three hard pockets and then the zip one back here so what I did was I measured it and then I cut it down to like roughly about an a6 size and so this is what I ended up with I ended up with this kind of secretarial kind of pocket here and then I ended up with two card pockets and then this zip pocket but the top is open and so if I had a fuse tool I would definitely fuse this together but I don't have a fuse tool so I kind of left it as is, and when I want to take stuff out of it, I just kind of open up this and kind of pull it out. I try not to go, you know, off the, the track here. And so in here, I have more bits to, like, do some journaling on the go. In this pocket, I have this vellum, this beautiful floral vellum envelope, and I have some clippings, mostly from, actually, it's all from a Daphne's Diary magazine. And so I have a lot of floral clippings and, you know, the cut parts from the magazine. And I also tend to go through the magazine and take out things that have words and phrases that I like. So those are in here. I also have, I think I put a tag in here, uh, American Crafts tag in here. So any like little bits that fit in here, that's what's in here. It's just all decorative ephemera. On this side, I have more of those Planner Society stickers. These little ones fit nicely in this little pocket here. And then behind that, I just kind of stuck a few of my shop, I guess, business cards. These are what I put in the orders. And so I kept a few back there. And then I have two washi sample cards here. And so that's what I keep in that. And then this is just more ephemera, the bigger ephemera pieces that don't fit into that other pocket. They all fit in here. More Daphne's Diary, some, uh, you know, like the, when you cut up uh, six by six, I have like the pieces, just pieces of book pages that I cut up, some vintage ephemera, a postcard someone sent me, and I have this glycine bag that holds Planner Society die cuts. These are really pretty ones that I kind of hopefully want to incorporate into my journaling. And, that is what I have in here and I really hope to incorporate more like on the go journaling stuff in here right now this is what I have I don't really do much journaling on the go only because there's like I don't really leave my home I don't have to all the work that I kind of do I can do from my house so I rarely go out and especially in the winter time it's really cold so it's not like I go to like the park or whatever because real, realistically, I live in New York, everything's expensive, so I only try to do free things, and there are not that many free things, so a lot of my time in the winter is spent home. But I'm hoping, like, in the springtime, I can go to the park and sit and journal, and that's really what I'm kind of setting this up for. I mean, if I go to, like, a friend's house, I also have this here. So this, uh, behind it, I have this writing board. It's clear plastic. 
I got it at JetPens. I will leave it down. I'll leave the link down below to the things that I got at JetPens because I did get this writing board at JetPens. Again, I got the the ink for this pen, and I'll try to leave the AliExpress link down below if you're interested in this pen. I got that, and I bought this notebook as well from JetPens. But yeah, so I have this writing board, and again, that is just for when you're on the go, and you know you have like. You put things in here, like say this page, you know, it has this, it's really hard to write over that. You just put this in there and it's like a flat surface now. And I really wanted one of these because I find like, especially with art journaling and like adding stuff into my journals, I always have that page that has all the bumps and it's just like, oh, it's like frustrating to try to do anything and I needed like a writing board. And this really helps too if you want to journal in your TN. Like, it really helps to stabilize the pages so you can actually journal with the notebook inside your TN. Because I know a lot of us kind of just take the notebook out of the TN. Like, who who writes anything in their notebooks when they're in the strings? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so this is a very simple setup. Again, I just wanted to have a notebook that can fit in my bag that's set up to journal on the go. Because I do have some plans to go out on walks and sort of, I guess, I, I'm calling them artist dates because that's what Julie Cameron calls them. But you know, I really want to go to some exhibits, museum exhibits this year. And I've already went on a tour at the Met. And so I did take this with me. So that is just a little peek at my very simple setup of this TN. Again, I'll leave all the links down below to some stuff that I bought from Japan's and like this pen from AliExpress. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this little look at how I set up my A6TN. And again, I'm pretty sure the setup's going to change because I'm just that person who kind of hops around everywhere. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed a look at my setup. Give it a thumbs up if you like. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more crafty videos and stuff. And I will see you all next time. Bye!